Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have been subscribed here for a while, you know that Juan made my 30th birthday cake over a year ago. He made a delicious carrot cake and it is one of my favorite videos to date. But I recently made the cake again and I filmed it and thought I'd give you guys a straight tutorial video. So here you go. I hope you enjoy. If you try this recipe, don't forget to let me know down in the comments how it goes for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this recipe. And as always, I will make sure to provide you with the recipe at the end of this video so you can easily screenshot it. And I will put the instructions down below in the description box as well. Enjoy. So the reason why I was making this cake was actually for Juan's brother-in-law. It was his birthday recently and they asked me to make the cakes for them. They wanted both cupcakes and a regular cake, but unfortunately I only had enough eggs for one recipe's worth and I didn't have time to run to the store. So what I figured was I was just going to make a mini personalized cake. So I used these little pans that my mom had on hand and made the layers for the cake and then with the rest of the batter I made the cupcakes. So each layer of the cake was equivalent to two cupcakes so there's plenty of cake for the birthday boy to enjoy and you guys will see me decorate this in a bit but I just you know I wanted to make it special for him and it's kind of COVID friendly with the cupcakes you're not like you know blowing out candles over everyone's slice so it ended up working out perfectly this frosting that I was making was more runny, I guess you could say, than a buttercream that I've made in the past, but I was able to still do a crumb coat on the cake and have it firm up in the fridge before adding the outer layer. So if you are trying to frost a cake with this cream cheese frosting, it does hold its shape somewhat, but it is more runny than a normal buttercream. So as you guys can see here, my original plan was to have more of like a naked cake, but because the frosting was more runny than I wanted it to be, I ended up just coating the entire thing. I also used wooden dowels here to keep the layers like in place as it firmed up in the fridge. And that really helped with the decorating process. So if you have any like popsicle sticks or chopsticks or just something to hold your layers in place as your frosting is firming up in the fridge, I highly recommend that, especially with a cream cheese frosting. Then since this cake was small, I decided just to put some sprinkles on top and try my best to decorate the outer edges of this cake. And I just put his little age on top as an extra little decoration. I used yellow sprinkles because they were the closest thing I had to orange for a carrot cake. And then I used whatever frosting I had left to put little like dollops along the bottom and the top just to kind of clean up the corners or the edges and to make it look a little bit nicer. This was definitely not one of my prettiest cakes, but it definitely was delicious. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching and please again remember to give this video a thumbs up. Get ready to screenshot that recipe along with some of my little notes that I added on and remember that you are loved and made for greatness.
end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.